Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I, I know it took a divine revelation for us to get to that point. Amen. 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 As you can't play with God. All this hallelujah hip hop going on. It's all right. You can't play with God. Hey, you go, 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 uh, he, he, he knows before you even open it. Don't you know he told you? Yes. Hey, he knows. He knows your heart. He yes. knows your heart desire. So ain't but one way to come in. That's right. Ain't but one way to come in. You got to be real. Amen. And that's the only thing that he's going to accept. That's it. Yes. Then he's willing to get ready. Yes. But it's your choice. It's, yes. We got a choice whether we want to follow him or whether we want to follow All right. someone else or something else. Amen. Yes. All right. But I, 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 I want you to be persuaded today. Uh -huh. That God is who He is. Yes. And that He is a rewarder to them that diligently yes. seek Him. Yes. Come on, Doctor. Quit that looking at me. Come on, Doctor. Say that. I ain't nothing but a little boy out of Waterville, Mississippi. All right. Waterville. Huh? All right. Raised up in a shotgun house, three sure room max. Right. He right. did have a Gary, amen. Sure so, so 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 don't don't let my shortcoming be your downfall. All right, all right. I need you to look at God. That's right. right. Not me. For who he is yeah, right. and what he's doing in your life. Amen. Yeah, right. There's a scripture penned in the book of Romans in his eighth chapter. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> book of Romans in his eighth chapter. Verses 38 and 39. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. If there's anything you need to be secure in, it need, you need to be secure in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know that in Christ there are going to be trials Thank you, Lord. and there are going to be tribulations. Thank you, Lord. Why are you acting like you don't know? All right. Thank you, Lord. Why every little bump or fall come and you just go out of despair? Uh, you you crying so much you can't tell the folk what's wrong. Right. <laughs> you can't tell the folk what's wrong. When you should be girding up the lines of your mind. Right. Yeah. Should be sober. Yeah. But we as, as for night people sometimes get carried away. Amen. Amen. And, and forget God who he is. All right. uh -huh. God, you always say he in charge. Yeah, what you say? If he in charge, why you worry about your foot? Hey? Come, on. Huh? Come on, doctor. Hey, if God Come in charge, on. Why, why, why you in a panic? Come on. Because something ain't going right with you. Yeah. You say he in charge, yes, and you say you here. Amen. <laughs> All things work together good for them. <laughs> Did you, if you know that, why are you acting like that? All right. Come on, with the boy, he's cutting now. They say they say that it is only going to endure for a night. <laughs> Joy gonna come in the morning. You just you just need to wait till your morning come and then hush your mouth. <laughs> hush your mouth. I saw a man one day. He saw me walking. I always been walking bad. Y'all want to know why I walk bad? Uh-uh. My daddy walked bad. <laughs> and I used to mark him when I was a young boy. And right the lady that helped raise me told me, say, keep on, keep on, keep on. You're going to be walking bad, too. <laughs> so, it is. it is, when I think about it. But the, the gentleman saw me walking down the, the, the shipyard. And he said, come here, brother. Let me pay for you, pray for you. So I seen you walking down through that limping, man. You were limping. And he prayed, and he prayed good. We got through praying. I said, I appreciate you praying for me, stuff. But if you hadn't have told me, I wouldn't know what I was living. All right now. Huh? All right. Sometimes people point out your elders and your problem ain't to your benefit. Amen. Hey, now I can't walk up the thing because I'm hurting. <laughs> to God be the glory. From the... Uh, 8th chapter, looking at verses 38 and 39, we have these words. For I am persuaded mm -hmm. that neither death nor life, yes. nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor hikes, nor depths, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's think about a subject. Be persuaded. Be persuaded that you're secure in Jesus Christ. 
Let us bow our heads for a moment. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord. Just keep us and guide us in your care. We need understanding and wisdom from your word, Master. We don't. I, I, a testimony is good, Lord, but only the, only your word is going to change heart. Only, yes, only your Lord. word is going to move life. Yes, only your word is going to give us the faith that we need to follow you. So we praise and we ask you, Lord God, to guide us and give us the wisdom that we need. Give us the knowledge that we need yes, to put you first. And let us not rely on our own understanding, Lord, but in everything that we do, yes. let us acknowledge our ways. Yes, Lord. Huh? And Lord, you please guide us and keep us safe in your care. Bless us this day. Hide me behind your altar that these may see you and none of me, that they may hear your word from your word. In Jesus' name, we do praise and thank you forever and forevermore. Amen. 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 Let's be persuaded that God is who he is. Huh? Yeah. And that he is a rewarder to them that... Well, I like to have folks that know the word of God. You, you need that in your everyday deportment. Them that follow him, them that know God, them that do his will. Be persuaded that God is who he is and he is a rewarder to the ones that seek him. Amen? Amen. The writer talks to us <clears throat> to get us to be delivered through the spirit of God. You know, you know, there's flesh and there's spirit. Amen? Amen. Flesh is kernel. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this understanding now that there's flesh and there's spirit. God wants you to walk in spirit. Not in the flesh. My flesh will mess me up. You don't know if you better say it. You know what so God, God has put, laid it out for us to walk in his spirit. To live for him, amen? amen. And then he said it now, if you see, he said, There is now now for no condemnation, huh? To them which are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Y'all talk about folk judging, what folk think about you. <laughs> Christ gonna be the one judging. Amen. Amen. And the writer said, There's now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus with a with a preference. Mm -hmm. Who walk not. After the flesh. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> after the flesh. But after the spirit. In other words, righteousness, truth, and goodness, peace, love, and kindness. The, yes. Those are your deportments. Yes, sir. And God has promised you that if you walk after those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to be mean and hateful and oh, make somebody oh, look like think you a big bad dog or something. Yes, right. You know, even big bad dog teeth fall out. So you got a bark and now you ain't got no bite. But what? You, you ain't got no bite no way. Because you are in Christ Jesus. You the one that should be walking in him. Amen. Walking after the spirit of God. In, in other words, the Spirit of God will tell me, I know what you want to say, but don't say it, Kate. Don't say it. Right. I know what you want to do, but don't do it, Kate. Thank you, Lord. Because when you do it, it change your walk. Amen. And I, I don't want you to change your walk. Teach that. For the law of the Spirit of life is in Christ Jesus, has made us free from the law of sin and death. Thank you, Lord. That's stuff that they tell you, you got to do. You got preachers. Been preaching for 30 and 40 years tell you, you going to got to sin. Uh -huh. You got to do what's wrong. Uh -huh. You are for night. How you know what everybody got to do? Uh -huh. I, I, I was one day when I was a young man, I was, I was talking in the Bible, and uh, the man said, everybody do this, everybody do this, all do this, all this him. And little, little old bitty man about this tall, he said, how you know? You know everything about everybody? Right now. Oh, my God, you, you done put yourself in God's place. Right. Just because you ain't doing what's right, don't put, what they call it, crawfish living. Don't put everybody in the same part you in. That's right. And if you search your Bible, if you read your scriptures enough, you will know it because the man of God told God, say, look at him, they all gone out there. Balaam and Bosa, they all gone out there. 
God said, I didn't deserve me. He done did it several times in the scripture. 5,000, 4,000 men that have not bowed their knee. Somebody standing up for God. Amen. If, if you search the scripture, you'll find out that every time God got ready to destroy the earth, he'd ask for some righteous folks. Yes, sir. Give me some, give me some righteous folks. When they left out of Sodom and Gomorrah, they couldn't even find one, huh? One, one, one. That's the kind of world you living in now? You always complain about what the world doing and you ain't got no righteousness in you? Come on, doctor. You tell it like it is. Righteousness ought to be in each and every one of us. Got to be in each and every one of us. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't, God would have been and took this place out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So when you find yourself searching for God, you need to be in Jesus Christ and realize that he had the power over all this stuff that you're afraid of. Yeah. Well, you tell me. God got all of it. If, if, if you could have been, if you could have, if you would have been all right in that stuff, mm -hmm. Christ wouldn't have had to die. That's right. That's Christ God. came here to make you free from the law of sin and death. That's yeah. what the scripture said. Thank you, brother. Amen. Oh, no, I ain't saying. The scripture said, don't you believe it? Amen. Showing up. Showing up. Clean up. This is talking about cleaning our house with it with chemical. Forget the chemical. Let me die with the grace of God in my heart and doing righteousness. If the chemicals kill me, that's all right. But I don't want sin and filthiness to kill me. Come on, doctor. Thank you, Jesus. Right has laid it out for us. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. If it had a bit. See, law was, was the knowledge of sin. Amen. Ain't that how it got? Ain't that how you know it? Mama say, don't do it, baby. That's how you know it was wrong. Uh -huh. That was the law. Say that. Don't do it. Now you know it's wrong. Amen? Amen. Amen. But he say, do the flesh. Yeah. Huh? The flesh. But God had a plan for you and I. Sure. Yeah. And I don't know why it's so difficult to try and follow the plan. Sometimes it hurts to follow the plan, y'all. Because sometimes the flesh don't get to do what it want to do when you follow the plan. Oh, right. uh, you don't have, you, 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 your flesh don't get to tell folk what it want to tell them That's when right. you follow the plan, amen. Right. Yeah. He said that God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Thank you, Lord. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. And you ain't got no righteousness. I, I hear y'all praying all the time. Oh, Lord, help me by my many, 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 many. I say, golly. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder well, ain't nobody coming to Christ. You loaded down with that much sin? Come on, doctor. <laughs> it ain't funny, doctor. Huh? You tell it like it is. Are you Just that far up. out of un 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 unrighteousness? Yeah. Yeah, you can't play with God. Like it, Tell it like you it. You can't play with God. You, you just got to do. You got to be real. Yes. And if you, your, your life messed up that bad, Dick and Jack, Jack used to say, you may as well let your hair down. I said, no, Jack. You don't want to get Satan advantage. You need to get on your knees and pray. And ask God to study the scriptures. Because God ain't going to change your heart till he know your heart is right. And let you, my mama said it like this. I tell y'all all the time. Boy, you better not get off of that motorbank. <laughs> what that woman talking about? I ain't got She know that nothing had changed in me. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's she just told Nicodemus, said, you got to be born again. Yeah. That's it, doctor. You can't be born again and still act the same way, Come on, think the same way. I don't care what your grandmama and your granddaddy told you. You cannot. You cannot. Live for Christ in the likeness of sinful flesh. Amen. You got to be changed. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And God is working on, working, working, working on us. Somebody, who that was? Somebody said today, God, you got every day is a different day. Amen. A different day to change. Yes. Who playing with God like that? Oh. Who, who playing with God like that? You think God coming to your house every day and know you ain't right? No, you got hate in your heart for your neighbor. God said, I won't dwell 
I didn't say it. He said he won't dwell in an unclean temple. You got all that filth and hatred and malice built up in you and think God is up in there. You may be jumping high and holding your hands up, touching the ceiling, calling hallelujah, but Jesus fixed that. He said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, haven't I done so many things in your name? Yeah. He said, depart from me. You work of iniquity. I made you. You write about that. But I don't know you. The writer's calling us out for to be the people that we are to be in Christ Jesus. A lot of people say, you know, you ain't nothing but filthy rags. Yeah. I say, put a filthy rag on Jesus. What was filthy about Jesus? Come on. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> I know that the prophet said that, but the prophet didn't have what you got. Yes. God hadn't sent his son. He was on the, on the list to come. Yeah. But after Christ got here, he cleaned you from. Working on when he when he when he, he laid it out for us, huh? He laid it out for this. He condemned sin in the flesh. They said they said this man ain't did nothing wrong. Walk around on this earth how long? Thirty three years. Thirty three years. Telling men and women about the wages of sin and death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God did all that stuff for you, and you still walk around with. I'll tell you what you do. Anybody got an old girlfriend or boyfriend? <laughs> Bring them up there with your new one. Y'all walk together. All y'all walk. <laughs> you know you're going to have a problem. <laughs> so how you going to have all this stuff that you're supposed to be the guy rid of? Walking in the rain. Walking in the rain. <laughs> God is telling you to come on, go with me. Yes, Lord. If I say the house on fire, I'm going to have any problem getting y'all out? No, sir. No, you get out when the flames get on you. Get hot to you. <laughs> but why in the world do we succumb to the flesh so deep? Say that. Just because somebody made you mad don't get you the right to sad somehow. Say that. They were just Say your that. test, baby. Amen. Amen. You think you, oh, that's a low round dirty person over there. They were just your test, baby. My God. If you didn't act like them, if you didn't do like they did, okay. oh, God, get the glory. Amen? Amen. Huh? Amen. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh. Now, do I need to define what the flesh is? Oh, yeah. The flesh will make you sit on the couch and watch TV all day long. Uh -oh. Huh? Oh, yeah. The flesh will let you go in there and eat up everything it is to eat. Never consider nobody or nothing. Come on, come on. I used to live in a house like that. If you wasn't there when the food got on the table, everything was gone. Oh. And then maybe I had to steal somebody else's food then caught him. But if you uh, let your flesh rule you, uh -huh. you're in trouble. Amen. Because there's no Christ. Come on. And when you lose your Christ, you 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 up for count. Don't lose your Christ for nothing. I don't care how pretty you is. Or what the folks say about you. Well, there's no Christ. Huh? There's no grace. There's no mercy. Huh? Well, there's no Christ, amen. The writer is trying to get us and let us know how the conflicts of the flesh conflict with the spirit. There's a conflict there. Yes, the Bible said like this. What communication have light with darkness? Yes. <laughs> no. This room was dark before they turned the lights on. Right. When the light came on, we could see. I'm just trying to show you that when you accept Christ, right. your light don't operate the same no Amen. more. Amen. You can't do what you used to do. Say what you used to say. Because you've been born again. You've been changed. Come on, doctor. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people tell you when they were changed. But the Bible will tell you this right here. When you're born of the Spirit, all you know that it came. You don't know when it came or when it left. I know I've been changed. Yes, sir. The writer is laying it out for us to live for Christ and let us know 
that the conflicts of human nature with the old nature and the new nature don't, I tell you what, go over there and look at Galatians 5 to 16. You ain't got to do it now. Just read whatever you get ready. Yeah, yeah. It lets you know that there's a conflict between yeah. flesh and spirit. You can't live one with the other one. Christ said it like this. You can't serve God and man. Huh? You're going to either love one and hate the other. Christ was laying it out for us to be persuaded. In other words, well, once you per persuaded, you'll walk a different way. Oh yeah. You'll talk a different way. You, my, my Bible teacher told me something one time about lying, and I never forgot it. He said, boy, you don't just tell a lie, or you don't just speak a lie. Say so you act a lie. That's right. You walk a lie. You talk a lie. And you live a lie. You want me to believe that you love Jesus when you don't love yourself. Right. Come on now. Preach. Because you'll remove yourself from some stuff Amen. if you love yourself. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. The writer's laying it out that there's a conflict. For there are, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, <laughs> the things of the spirit. What did I say? You know about what you're doing? You know what you're going to do today when you leave out of here? Oh, yeah. If it's going to be spiritual? Oh, come on, dog. Huh? Come on, dog. <laughs> you want to do the spirit? If it's going to be colonel? Okay. There it is. You got an identity. You don't have to have an identity crisis, but you have. You know that you need some change to be worked on Man. if you're walking out the flesh. Some deep working on. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. For to be calm-minded is death. Colonel Miley just said just to be fleshly minded, to do the things that please your body. Your own mind will mess you up so bad sometimes, you won't know what's going on. For to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I mean, you, you, they talking about you? The Bible tell you what? To be, to be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of what you do. Amen? Amen. He said, For to be calm minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Amen. Because nobody said nothing about you. Because they didn't give you a. Let me go get, let me go get a, a four year old. Uh, I, I, I want to watch this TV. No, son, you can't watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> Even at that age, he got he got he got enough flesh in him to let the flesh take over. Come on, God. I don't know. It don't get you nowhere, but you still <laughs> like you. I just didn't get my way. <laughs> the Bible says a carnal mind is death. You can't live with that kind of mind. Y'all don't y'all don't have a place in now. But, but, but some of our kin folks are dying because of their carnal mind. Things ain't just happening to folks for nothing. No way. Come on. Preach. No way. The writer lays it out. Say, because of carnal mind. Now you watch this now. You don't want to be in this position. A carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. If you got a kind mind, you don't even know how to get no righteousness working for you. That's right, doctor. Trust God. Live for Him. Mm -hmm. These young, I'm telling these young folk about what you did and how you live your life. I can hear my, my auntie now telling me now, go on live your life. <laughs> well, you ought to be telling me, don't that, don't do that. Your dad or your granddad or your uncle did that. And all them dead, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't walk like that. Don't think like that. Don't talk like that. I don't care who did it. Don't beef yourself up for destruction. Tell the young people to serve God. Amen. 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 Amen.
My dad was crazy, man, in my eyes. He was crazy. But one thing I could hear him say, he would, and he was wrong in part of that, he said, y'all, these old folk can't do nothing else. But serve the Lord right now. That's not true. You don't get so old, you can't walk for the devil. You better say that. You don't look so good, you can't walk for the devil. Come on, doctor. But he said, these young people have a whole life to give God. Mm -hmm. But they have to be on the right plane. Amen. They have to know that when they go to school and somebody say something to them or do something to them that they don't supposed to do, and you tell them, say, don't let nobody do nothing to you. <laughs> and they nail hand, nail Jesus, and nails in Jesus' hand, and nails in Jesus. Don't let nobody do nothing to you. If they do it to you, you better hit them out. You better, you better hit them back. <laughs> then both of y'all get put out. What you accomplish? Nothing. Right. Right. Make it known what that was going on. The writer push it out so close for us to know that if we follow the kernel minded. We are in imminent against God. Mm -hmm. Huh? So they that are in the flesh mm -hmm. cannot please God. Please God. I, know you, I know you ain't going to let your good time go now. You ain't going to let it go. Because you just feel good taking them sips. You don't know what you did. Man, come home and say, well, you did such such thing last night. He said, he said, no, I didn't do that. Well, you know, that was after we went over such and such a place. He said, I, I don't know nothing about going over there. <laughs> you done satisfied your flesh so much that you done lost yourself. Yes. God is telling us and letting us know that we have to dwell in God. And he'll dwell in us. Amen? Amen. Amen. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he none of his. I ain't, I ain't saying it. Get your Bible and read it. He you none of his. Change your life to do good, to do righteous. Look. It's been some seven years ago when I learned that somebody following Christ have got to suffer. Mm -hmm. Huh? You got to suffer. He, he, and the flesh don't want to. You don't hear me? The flesh don't want to suffer. And you have to suffer to follow Christ because they were wrong what they did. They were wrong what they Amen. said. Amen. They were wrong how they acted. And you got the uh, I forgive you, brother. Come on now. And go on yeah. about your business. Right. That's it. That's the head, head doc. Come on. Yes, Lord. These things have us to a point that we'll be called none of Christ's. None of his. And if Christ be in you, huh? Oh, Lord. Y'all want to hear it or you want me to quit? Come on, wait. Come on. Huh? Come on. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. Yeah. Now, y'all ain't got no dead folk walking around in your houses. <laughs> y'all not have no dead stuff walking around in you then. Come on. That's right. <laughs> but the spirit is life because of I hear somebody reading light long with it, ain't it? Yes. Righteousness. When you do right, the lights will come on. I, I was with a preacher one time, and he, his title was Walking in the Shadow of God. Huh? Somebody, who told you that? Then he went on to explain and say, when I, when I get the light, the light came, did you see that shadow? That's my shadow. But the light that's coming to me is God's shadow. Yeah. God's shadow is light. It ain't light. Mine is my shadow. Mine is short. You don't believe me? Ask Paul when he met him on Damascus Road. Yeah, Doc, Paul said, light shining around and brighter than the sun. Yeah, Knocked him off his horse. <laughs> don't get whatever you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on the ground. The light was so bright and blind. He said, Lord, uh, why? who art thou? Oh. Sometimes we get to the point 
When we have to ask God who he is. Amen. When you're in a moment of despair, time of giving up, amen. 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 He said that your life because of righteousness. Amen. 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 That's what Christ produced. He lived right. They, they, they saw him come and said, Here, yeah, yeah, man come with no guy. He ain't mad at nobody about nothing. Amen. Amen. Yeah, huh? Yeah, so when we find ourselves walking in Christ Jesus, living for him, doing the things that God has called us to do, he's right there right now helping us, helping, helping your flesh. Amen. The Bible told you this, didn't it? Say, I will not allow you to be tempted above that ye are able to resist. That's right. So if you do it, you do it because you want to. You better say that. Yeah, you better say do it because that. you made the choice to do it. You better say that. But God has put a shield up for you to help us in our infirmities. Amen. Yes. Yes. He put a shield up for us. Likewise, the Spirit help us in our infirmities, for we know not. We don't even know what to do. We don't know what's going to happen in the next two seconds. Amen. Pray for as we are, but the Spirit itself makes an intercession for us. With groaning will, which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart, he looking at the heart, uh, he looking at the heart, knowing what is the mind uh, of the spirit, because he make it in a session for the saints according to the will of God. Y'all, y'all, y'all might not be older than I am. You remember when we didn't, when we didn't pray unless we say, Lord, let your will be done. Jesus said it, didn't he? No, no. They had us saying that we, we were living in boys. According to your will, Lord. Not my will, but your will be done. Right. Huh? Right. Right. So when we allow, when we allow ourselves to think about our will and what we want, that means we're omitting the will of God. The will of Christ's Son. Thinking about what you want. And guess what? You're going to want something different in the next few minutes. Amen. But he laid it out and put it so we knew that we had this indwelling in us. That the Spirit of God is looking out for us and taking out for us. Huh? Yeah. Amen. According to what? The will of God. And hey, y'all favorite scripture is now. <laughs> huh? Y'all favorite scripture. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Huh? To them who are called according to his purpose. God, God worked that stuff out for you because you are for him. Amen? Amen. 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 But you're doing God's will. Pastor yeah. Bowman got a trick he tried to play on everybody. To God be the glory. <laughs> he just, just trying to let you know it ain't about him. Huh? I love it. Yeah. So 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 when when we when when we are called according to his purpose, I used to tell folks all the time, use God's word against him. Huh? How you gonna use God's word against him, Cables? Do what he say. Do what he say, do. Do what he say, do. Huh? Hey. He said, before one tilt or one jot of my word fell, on, heaven and earth. Because if, if God said it, it's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass if God said it. Amen? Amen. His purpose. For who we did foreknow, also we did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Y'all trying to follow capers and bone. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who you follow? Jesus. You ain't got no excuse now. You you call cable when you want to get the excuse. You better say that. That old no good preacher that I saw him doing. Follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Hey, go. Amen. So you got to follow Christ. You better say that. And Paul, just like the preacher said, Paul made a plan when he told the folk to follow him. Follow me and I follow Christ. And if I die the way of Christ, you better die the other way too. Yeah. You better say it. 
Bible says if the blind lead the blind, what's gonna happen to them? Oh, amen, amen. I ain't falling in this behind nobody. Mm. Huh? Yeah, say it. Yeah, say it. The writer has laid it out for us and delivered him up. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Who shall not, who shall not with him also freely give us all things? In other words, when we follow Christ, God laid him out of it. What? John 3 16 say what? God so loved the world. Every believer ought to know that, amen? Amen. Huh? Amen. The writer had laid it out for us. Let's take, let's let, 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 let's let's take a little, little trip for a minute. Right. Let's look at Romans 10 and 8. I'm gonna even get it out your hair. Romans 10, 8 through 11, we have these words. Huh? But what say is it? The word. The word is nigh thee. <laughs> huh? Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Yes, Lord. That is the word of faith which we preach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, sometimes my Bible teacher told me this, and I... And I, and I, I Sometimes I scratch my head on it. Sometimes people can be so far out of place. You'll say, wait, what, I'm, what I keep going around preaching to them and talking to them for? Mm. Why, why, why? Obedience. She, she got it right, but the, you be looking. Your current mind of how you look and say, them folks ain't changed. Nothing they were doing since I went over there. That's right. Huh? It ain't your job for them to change. Your job just to deliver the word. Amen. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But sometimes it's hard wrecking, hard wrenching yeah. to see a brother or sister perishing. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Yeah. If you say, come back, brother, you tell me what to do. <laughs> Please come back, sir. Oh, you ain't no, I don't want to hear. Not no man say. It. <laughs> Baby, the thing finna fall. Let it fall in. <laughs> When we get to that point in life, it'd be hard wrenching. But still go up there time and time again. Who who did it for 120 years? Then nobody listened to nothing. He said, no. 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 I ain't got 120 years yet, so I ain't got no complaint to make, right? <laughs> no priest 120 years, one son. Then nobody listened at him. They laughed at him, made fun of him. Sometimes people laugh at you, preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? They ain't laughing at you. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. God they laughing at. Yeah. Yeah. They giggling. When they reject you, they ain't rejecting you. Come on, Doctor. Christ said, look at him. If they rejected me, what you talking about? They reject you. That's right. They rejected me. Did they did they reject First. him? First. They crucified him. Yeah. Put nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Come on, Call him everything but a child of God. Yeah. What you thinking about yourself? What you think he gonna do? Man, I hate to leave this alone. Mm. But uh, y'all gonna have to read. Y'all gonna have to seek the Lord out of the book. Amen. And do what? Read. 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 Read and then you know a lot of times you ain't got to read it, y'all. You can go on your cell phone, get your Bible out, and then if you want to read it, read it. If you don't want to read it, you got a little microphone at the top. Turn it on. They'll read it to you. Listen. All you got to do is listen. And that's what we don't like. Hey, Amen. We don't like listening. Oh no. We don't like listening. Oh, obey and listen. Come on, doctor. Huh? Hey. <laughs> but but he, he laid it out for us to do his will. The word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. 
thou shalt. I don't care what nobody talking about you about. Yeah. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that He says, shake your head. Open your mouth and tell somebody. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He suffered and died for me. My mama said every tub he can say on his own bottom. Yes, come on now. Stop shaking your head when you come into Christ. And open your mouth and tell why you there. You gotta be born again. Gotta be. And that's a good evidence. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You know what Peter, what Jesus told Peter then? Peter said, look at him. Who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. uh oh, we already know what the folks say. Because yeah. we're a good street committee. Mm -hmm. Some say that all these lies, and some say one of the prophets. On, some guys. say this. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all okay? you know, you, you know too much what the real is saying. Look, who do you say that I am? He didn't say, thou art the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus said, boy, the Spirit been dealing with you because flesh and blood didn't reveal it to you. All right, but now. my Father, right. which is in heaven. Yes. See, that's how you know you're born again. Yes. When you talk about Jesus, don't care who listening. Amen. Say that. We got some associates that. that don't want really want to talk about God. You better say it. Uh, they, they tell you, I had them tell me a minute, I don't argue about God. You argue about everything else. <laughs> Cause if you go argue about God, then we turn to the scriptures. You see right here, this is what it say. Uh huh. the scripture. Your argument is over with. My friend told me, say, say, look, say, say, say. I don't want to hear what the Bible say. I want to hear what you say. He yeah. argue with what I say. Uh, yeah. But when you say the scriptures say this, God said this, and, 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 and a lot of times folks want you to tell them what book, what book. I don't tell you nothing. I told you the Bible said you don't know what real. Have enough faith to go hunt it up for yourself. Come on, God. Say that. Tell it. Go hunt it up for yourself. Yeah, yeah, go. Because you, you, if you want it, you can Google it. You, that's small. It's okay. Google it. So easy. Google it will put you close to home, babe. So when you find yourself serving God and doing the things that's of Him, amen. He said, You say it with your mouth, for with the heart man believes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Unto righteousness. You know when you accepted Christ, you didn't know that you changed over from that old bad stuff my mama was warning me about. Mm -hmm. That's why she told me don't get off the morning, man, because she didn't see my transformation into righteousness. Never say it. People see your transformation into righteousness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll see you move. <laughs> they know you're not in the same place anymore. Oh, doctor. And if you ain't, you ain't careful, they'll criticize you for it too. Hello. So when you see that transformation taking place, you'll remember the words of your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. They crucified me before they crucified you. Yeah. If they don't hear you, then they don't hear me. That's it. Huh? And I ain't mad at nobody. If you don't want to hear you ain't got to hear. But I'm on the roster to tell men and women the word of God. I want you to know that I love you. I care about you. I wouldn't even fuss with you if I didn't love you. Cause I don't usually talk to folks I don't know nothing about, amen? Or care nothing about. I don't have no conversation with them. Amen? I can remember being in uh, Saudi Arabia and me and the guy was sitting in the gallery discussing his Quran and my Bible. And uh, the guy said, wait, wait, wait a minute, I'll be right back. He left out, and the cook come over there and said, man, say, you ain't supposed to be talking to them guys about no Bible and Christ. Jesus. You ain't supposed to. I said, he talking to me about his Quran. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him about my thing. <laughs> your your <laughs> man. But you know, in, 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 in that country, if you convert a Muslim to Christianity, it's a hanging offense. Show yes, sir, show him. Show and you ain't got anybody, ain't nobody got to hang nobody for you to get there. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you got a free free course. Guy asked me yeah. when I was in uh, uh, Dubai, he say, uh, we was in Bible class to be exact. He say, is that a Bible? Huh. Mm -hmm. I said, dude, you're crazy. Send them Bible class, ask me if that a Bible. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how? 
He said, how you get that? I said, well, when I left America, I put it in my bag. And I brought it with me. Revelation. He said, I put mine, but they take it out. Wow. They take it out. They took his own Bible out of his... So you don't know how blessed you are Amen. to have an opportunity to accept Christ, Amen. to give your life to Him, and ain't nobody here gonna get no stick and hit you with it. Amen. They ain't gonna do nothing to you. Amen. It's just on you and you alone. That's wrong. God bless you. Be persuaded. Be persuaded according to the word.